Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, highlights from Jamaica's double meet weekend, Saturday and Sunday at Caymanus Park. Safid Joseph's flourishing season continues. Another big stakes win in Florida for the Barbadian trainer. And Jamaican rider Dane Nelson lands his first $100,000 win in Canada. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our first stop, Caymanus Park in Jamaica. Saturday's feature am satisfied trophy run in honor of the 2000 Derby and Triple Crown winner, 2002 Horse of the Year, and Hall of Fame inductee. The pre-race favorite scratched. Is that a fact? Yes, it is. Leaving the five horse, I've got magic already with four wins this year. The even money favorite ahead of number eight Jordan Reigns at six to five and the four horse perfect brew at five to two in the com box. Brand Rickman picks them up mid-race. And now Jordan Reigns quickens and goes for that lead. I've got magic racing in second. Rojorn the pilot in the white cap racing in third. Perfect Brew just in behind them, five lengths off that lead. A gap opens to Lure of Lucy, God of Love, and Generational now trailing the field as they come thundering into the top of the lane, a quarter of a mile to run. Jordan Reigns attacked now by I've Got Magic. Rajon the pilot out wide. Perfect Brew tucked in between them. They run toward the furlong pole. Jordan Reigns and a Perfect Brew now, and Perfect Brew snatches the lead from Jordan Reigns. I've Got Magic asked to bubble to the boil on the rail, but it is Perfect Brew beginning to lengthen stride inside the final. 16th. This is the I'm Satisfied Trophy and Perfect Brew romps it by maybe five lengths over I've Got Magic. Under a confident and patient ride from Tevin Foster, the four-year-old gelding, Perfect Brew goes from last to first to get his third win in his last six starts for trainer Richard Azan. Perfect Brew by four and a half lengths as the five to two bet chased by the favorite I've Got Magic. Third to Jordan Reigns with champion jockey Dane Dawkins. Denied a third straight win in the I'm Satisfied, having scored in 2021 with She's a Wonder and last year with Atomica. 1 minute 12 and 1 fifth. Perfect Brew's winning time for trainer Azan, who is also a part owner. The Vassal Niger Memorial was Sunday's main event, a big field of 14 for the five and a half furlong sprint. The odds on favorite, the great Duke in about fifth here, trying to reel in the leaders, watched in the com box by Kevin Burnside. Kataba also there. That's a gift from Ben out wide. That's Luxol. It's Kataba in front. Here comes on the inside. Freedom Street really coming on the rail. But it's a gift from Ben. Freedom Street. Luxol is right there too. Duke is on the outside and it's coming forward. But it's Freedom Street in front at the furlong. Passing the furlong pole. It's Freedom Street being chased by a gift from Ben. Here comes Duke flying on the outside. But it's a Freedom Street. And Freedom Street beats the late coming Duke. Roger Hewitt in the saddle for a smart ride here. The four-year-old gelding's first win since mid-March, snapping a 10-race winless streak for a fifth win in 26 lifetime starts. Scoring here at 5-1 to one odds by two and a quarter lengths over the fast-closing favorite Duke. Freedom Street clocks 106 and two-fifths for Sunday's five-and-a-half furlong Vassal Najer feature for owners Joyous Racing and this year's dub winning trainer Patrick Lynch. So that's Safi Joseph's story now. The Barbadian trainer has won 145 races so far this season in North American racing. Only a few of those bigger than Saturday's win in the Prince Rooney Invitational Stakes at Gulfstream Park in Florida. Joseph had three entries in the seven furlong run for a purse of 200,000 US dollars mid-race. His best position charge is three witches. Not among the top three fancied horses in the field, but at 10 to one odds, the four-year-old filly is neatly positioned by jockey Lionel Race. And here's what happened next. Poema tries to sneak away, but our Adios jersey covers the move and is on the attack second. From the inside, Olivia Darling is now third. From between horses, that's three witches on the far outside. Mary, quite contrary, she's in high gear and loops up six wide through a 44 and one opening half mile. Off the turn and the stretch drive on the far outside. Mary, quite contrary, asked for her best stuff by Luca Panici, but the leader is three witches. Eighth of a mile out, three witches is in front. Mary, quite contrary, trying to pick her up. 16th to go, three witches driven out. Mary, quite contrary, running out of time. Here's the wire. It's three witches to win the Princess Rooney. Safi Joseph, one of his two wins Saturday to say he's been successful at Gulfstream Park is an understatement. He has won seven consecutive seasonal titles there and is currently number 12 on the top trainers list in all of North American racing with over $8.24 million in horses earnings. Ridden by Lionel Race, three witches at 10 to 1 odds gives Safi Joseph his 80th career stakes triumph in North America and 12th this year, scoring by a half length over the favorite Mary Quite Contrary. 
Three witches clocks 122.89 for the seven furlong Princess Rooney in a win that earns her an automatic berth to the US $1 million Breeders' Cup filly and mare sprint on the 4th of November at Santa Anita. And finally, they call him the Warrior Chief, and he's having easily one of his best seasons since he started riding in Canada in 2015. Four-time Jamaica champion Dane Nelson is dominating this season in Western Canada. He collected his first Canadian jockey's title last month at Edmonton's Century Mile and currently leads at Calgary's Century Downs, where he landed his first $100,000 win in Saturday's CTHS sales stakes, where he was in front from early aboard the 1-5 to five favorite. It's all good, man. BB's Wildfire and Jump the Queue are chasing. And then you have next there, Jody's Little Pain not doing enough right now. Siltstone starting to run from the rear of the field. It's all good, man. Trying to get away. It's all good, man, by three. Still fighting the good fight. Jump the queue is second. And cutting into the margins somewhat. Then BB's Wildfire in Silkstone. It's all good, man. Still with a three-length advantage. 46 flat for the half. It's all good, man. And Dane Nelson setting sail for home. It's all good, man, by four. Four lengths now on Jump the Q. It's all good man. Went to the front. Did not look back. He wins the CTHS sales stake. Nelson building his career stats. Over 1,200 wins at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. Nearing 400 now in Canada. The 39-year-old gate to wire here in the CTHS sales stakes for Canada bred two-year-olds. With 17 wins, Nelson leads the Central Downs jockey standings by seven over Barbadian Enrico Prescott, who had three weekend wins. The season finishes month end. Seven stakes wins in Canada this year for Nelson, who had a triple on Sunday for four weekend victories. It's all good, man. Four and a half lengths in front in the CTHS sales stakes for trainer Curtis Landry. The gelding clocked 124.29 for the seven furlong trip. Our weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada before we go. I've counted in the past week since our last show, 60 wins, including the Jamaican Trevor Simpson with two stakes victories among six wins at Lethbridge, where TNT's Pravin Badri had four wins, including a stake success. Rocco Boyne had four wins at Thistledown, and fellow Barbadian Chris Husbands had a win at Fort Erie, and he is about to complete three consecutive championship titles when the season ends next week. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.